Today, I'll be showing you a simple way to create a character you can use to make a video with different scenes. As you'll see, the video can be animated or even live action. You could even make a short film with your own character. This method lets you bring a character to life with some creativity, character design, and a solid script without spending endless hours learning or working on the project. There are a few things to consider though, like choosing the right platform, writing effective prompts, and adjusting the settings to get the best results. I'll be sharing some of those tips today, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's jump right in. So first up, we need to create our character. I've got two AI tools to introduce, both great in terms of quality. The first is Piclamen, which is totally free, and the second is Ideagram, which gives you free daily credits. If you're planning to put yourself directly into the video, you can skip this step and move to the next part. Piclamen is a completely free AI that's pretty powerful in creating different images and could be a great alternative to Midjourney. I've actually made a full video on Piclamen, which I'll link up above, so check that out if you're interested. I hope it's helpful. To use Piclamen, just click the link in the description, which will take you to the main website. From there, you can set up a free account and start creating. Among the four AI models available, Flux is the most powerful and can generate all sorts of character types. You can choose the size you need here, set the number of generations to four, and if you're not keen on writing a complex prompt, just type in a simple description. Then click the button to generate. The AI will enhance your prompt, which might get you even better results. I have a prompt saved here, so I'll paste it in. As you can see, the results look good. Next, I'm gonna create a character that's a mix between realistic and animated. I'll type in my prompt and click generate. I think it looks amazing. For creating a realistic character, you can also use Piclamen with its realistic model. I made an example here to show you. However, I'd also recommend checking out Ideogram. This AI is also excellent for creating realistic characters and can be super helpful. After signing up and setting up your free account, go to the create page and write your prompt here. There are several settings you can adjust to get closer to your ideal result. As you can see, it works well, but since it's not unlimited, you'll need to wait a few hours for the credits to reset. This might be a deal breaker for some depending on your needs. So now we have three characters, an animated one, a realistic one, and a combination of both. Let's move on to the next stage, placing them in different scenes. At this stage, we're going to use Pulid-Flux, an impressive model with powerful image-to-image -image capabilities. With this, we can create consistent variations of the same character, whether it's an image of yourself or any character you want. For example, here we have a woman's face recreated in multiple versions with different poses, outfits, and styles. The results are fantastic. In another example, the same model turned this boy's face into different versions, including even an icy statue, while keeping facial details consistent. If you pay attention to the prompt writing techniques, you can definitely get some great results. From here, you can fully experiment with previous samples and create new images using similar settings. Now click the link in the description to get started, upload your photo in this section, and write a prompt for the scene or look you want to achieve. In the settings, you'll find ID weight, which controls how much influence your uploaded image has on the final output. Next, set the image size. Number of steps allows for greater precision, while guidance adjusts the balance between your prompt and the AI's creative input. Let's try using the recommended settings and see how it turns out. It looks great. It's nearly a clone of the character we started with, now in a nurse's outfit in a hospital setting. Let's try another prompt to test it further, imagining the character in a shopping mall. Amazing. It's still the exact same character, with the photo becoming a bit more realistic here. You could refine this even further by adjusting the prompt. I've tested a few more prompts and here are the results. I've done the same for animated and realistic characters and it handled those just as well. Oh, yeah. 
Now it's time to turn our images into videos. There are plenty of options out there, but I'll be testing out two of them. The first one is Vidu AI, which has decent quality and is relatively reliable. This AI supports both text to video and image to video features, allowing you to create some pretty creative videos. As always, make sure to carefully adjust the settings and prompts to get the best results. Once you're on the website, set up a free account and you'll get 80 free credits. Then go to the create video section to get started. In the image to video area, upload your chosen file and add a simple prompt so the AI knows what to do with it. Here's what it came up with. But now let's move on to the second option, which I think is fantastic and incredibly powerful. Go to Hiloo AI and sign in. This AI offers unlimited video creation for the first three days after signing up. After that, you'll receive free credits each time you log in. If you want to avoid watermarks, you can purchase a plan here. Once you're ready, upload your image and write your prompt, then hit the button to generate your video. You can have up to three videos in the production queue at once. Here's the result of the first video. It's mostly successful. The style leans a bit toward realism, but with a more precise prompt that can be easily adjusted. Now I'll try with another image. Write out a new prompt, and as this one is rendering, I'll queue up the next image to save time. All three videos are now ready. This one featuring a Halloween party came out pretty well, though there's room for improvement. I uh, am yeah, the leather outfit is nicely simulated and uh, the character's face animation looks good. The nurse outfit scene in the hospital also turned out great. I tried a few more examples and here they are for you to check out. Now all that's left is to arrange these clips in the order you like and you've got yourself a short film or animation. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, stay creative.